Thomas Pocklington Trust. New tech, hands on. Well, hello and welcome to a very cold Newcastle International Airport. Today, I'm wearing the Envision Smart Glasses, and we're going to take them on a flight to London Heathrow to find out how good these glasses are at helping you navigate complex environments independently. For Thomas Pocklington Trust, I'm Peter Hayton, and together, let's go hands-on with the Envision Smart Glasses. So now that we're on the way to London, let's delve a little deeper into the hardware and design of the Envision glasses. The physical hardware is largely identical for all three editions of the Envision glasses. With the Reed and Standard Edition, you get the exact same hardware package, meaning you also get the lightweight titanium frames to go with your Envision glasses. And the only difference with the Professional Edition is that it comes bundled with either the fashion-oriented Lux frames or the protective Smith Optics frames which are usually sold separately at a price of £349 a pair. Having the same hardware across all editions also means that if you have purchased the Reed edition, you can opt to upgrade your device to the standard edition further down the road. In terms of the physical hardware, the glasses are actually pretty small. When using the titanium frames, the Reed and standard editions only consist of a titanium glasses frame, which goes across the top of your eyes, with two rubber nose pads coming down in the centre to secure the fit. Over the right eyepiece, there is a very small transparent display, which comes slightly over your field of view. If you have partial vision in that eye, you may notice that the display can provide some textual information in addition to the spoken content. Unfortunately, due to my eye condition, I couldn't perform any tests of the display, but it's worth noting that the display is only intended as a supplementary component to the voice-based user experience. And there's an option in settings to turn it off entirely. This top right-hand corner is also where you'll find the all-important camera lens. A good question you might be asking at this point is why include the display at all? Or why not provide options for this to be mounted to the left eye instead? This is because the Envision glasses make use of the Google Glass Enterprise 2 hardware platform, which doesn't have an option to configure the frames in any other way. During my testing, it hasn't really impacted upon usage, but I can see how this can be frustrating. Hopefully this is something Envision can address in the future. This brings us to the arms, or more specifically, the right arm of the glasses, where all the magic happens. The left arm is a single strip of titanium, following on from the rest of the body. However, the right arm is much thicker and made from plastic, though interestingly, they don't feel off balance when on your head. This arm contains a USB-C charging port at the back, a power button on the inside, followed by space for the built-in speaker and battery. The arm then contours in to fit around the ear, before widening out to make way for the gesture control touchpad on the outside of the arm. This is used to control all actions on the glasses, and there is a good tutorial to help you learn these gestures when you first set up the glasses. There's even a microphone and button to trigger voice commands to access a wide range of features on the device. So now that we understand the hardware, what are the differences between the Reed, Standard and Professional Editions? Well, it mainly boils down to what software and support features you get. As mentioned, the physical hardware of the Reed and Standard Editions are identical. However, the Reed Edition comes in at a lower price and is software limited to only work with the two reading features, whereas the Standard Edition comes with all software features, along with the option to pay £169 a year to receive new feature updates as and when they become available, starting from 2024. Meanwhile, the Professional Edition also benefits from lifetime feature updates, and a two-year warranty with priority customer support. As mentioned before, they also come with a complimentary pair of frames. If you normally wear prescription glasses, you'll want to check out a pair of these frames, whichever edition you pick, because you cannot wear both your existing glasses and the Envision glasses at the same time. However, you can opt for either clear or dark tinted lenses, and they are easy to swap. 
Finally, I'd like to touch on keeping the glasses safe when you're not wearing them. Obviously, you'll want to protect your investment whilst not wearing the glasses. And thankfully, Envision bundles a free zippable carry case in the box with all models. This helps to bring added peace of mind when out and about. And with that, it's about time to land. And we've made it to London Heathrow Airport. But why bring the Envision glasses to Heathrow? Well, with four separate terminals and an average of 80 million passengers in 2018, it's easy to see that this is a pretty complex environment. So to help give you a feel for how the Envision glasses perform, we're gonna take a walk directly out of the doors. Then we're going to walk straight ahead over the footpath, reading signage as we go until we get to the lifts, which will appear on our right hand side. As we go, the Envision glasses will try and read out the content they come across in instant text offline mode. It's important to make clear that there are two modes here, offline mode and online mode. The online mode requires an internet connection and whilst it can be a little more accurate, it can be a little bit slower as well. Sanitize here, hands here, cash, yout, ATM, MITL, TravelX. Emergency exit, ATM, $9, 908, cash, cash. Emergency exit, automatic, do. Final three, under around E, trains, O London, terminals four and five, I. Irene's, raw, pins, to London, terminals four and five, via free train transfer, underground, count DC, S Turbine, drop off charge, E. Car parks, hotels, car rental buses, lifts to trains, D London, is 4 and 5, transfer, taxi Z, car park and S, P, fast track, BNNN hotel, lifts to terminal 3, local and national buses. And I think that demo really helps put the case in point. It might not have been flawless, it might not have been seamless, but what the Envision glasses did do is give us a rough idea of where we were as we walked along the route we just described. They told us, for instance, that we were coming through an automatic door and read out the bulk of the signage. What we can find out is that we had a rough idea of where the lifts were going to take us. And when you're walking, that's really helpful. So one area the envisioned glasses might prove a little more helpful is in an environment like a hotel. To find out, let's see if I can find my room. Room 491. 490. Well, that was quite successful, and as we walk along this corridor which links the hotel back to the airport, you'll notice that Instant Text does generally do quite well with other smaller signage too. Thanks for choosing Premier Inn. So, we've seen Instant Text, but what about Scan Text? Scan Text is a mode on the Envision glasses that takes a high quality image of a document. Then, it uses the internet to process this so that you can hear it read out to you in a more detailed way. That means the scan you get should be more accurate. It might take longer, but it should have more of the details inside that you're going to need. So we've made our way over to a restaurant now at Heathrow Airport to try scanning in a menu. Restaurant menus are the ideal use case for this feature because you might find that you have a paper menu and you quickly want to find out what's written on them. This way, you're able to find out what's there and easily get the answers read out to you so you can choose what you'd like to eat. It's also possible that you could use this feature in an education context, for example, if you don't have any accessible reading materials. However, at Thomas Pocklington Trust, we always urge that this should be a last resort and accessible documents should always be preferred first. Move document up or your head down. Move document up or your head down. Move document down or your head up. And that is scan text. Something of note though, is that you can export the scan text from the glasses to the Envision app for iPhone and Android to access later. And holding documents in this way can be easier to get to scan the them. Globe. Small plates are with grana padano and grilled garlic sourdough cajun spiced chicken wings eight pounds with lemon and garlic aioli.
Filled corn tortillas with sour Crispy cream. calamari 8 pounds 75. Quesadillas 8 pounds. All meals can be ready in 15 minutes. Please notify your server. However, of note though, is that during my testing, it's not drastically different from what you'll experience by just scanning the document with the smartphone application. I'd like to finish off by sharing a little bit of information about the video calling capabilities found in the standard and professional editions of the Envision glasses. The glasses connect with Ira, the visual assistance service, and this can be used to connect to an Ira agent at any time so long as you have an Ira subscription. However, if you don't have an Ira subscription, anyone can take advantage of the free to use Envision Ally service, where you can connect with anybody who you designate as your ally. This could be a friend, family member, or colleague, for example. On screen, you may be able to see a video feed. This is taken from the Envision Ally application and shows you exactly what the glasses can see. In this case, I'm connected with my ally, Liam, who's one of my colleagues at Thomas Pocklington Trust, and he is going to help me find the way into this Cafe Nero here at Heathrow Airport. Yeah, I can see the, I can see the uh, bar just ahead of you. Excellent, keep going. You're almost there. Excellent, you're at the bar. So now that we have returned from Heathrow, what do we really think of the Envision glasses? Well, as a wearable, they are quite unique. Most pieces of wearable equipment for visually impaired people focus on enhancing vision by allowing people to zoom into a scene. However, the Envision glasses opt to take a more lightweight approach, augmenting a person's sight with the ability to hear text read aloud as they go. This lightweight hardware means that the Envision glasses are one of the first accessible wearables that I could recommend people wear for extended periods of time. This is significant because the assistive wearable market is still very much in its infancy, with many products still being a little rough around the edges. But it has huge potential, and I think the Envision glasses will help demonstrate how a part of this potential could be realised further down the road. Unfortunately, not everything is perfect. As you might have seen with some of the demos, it's not always clear when reading signage exactly what the glasses are trying to tell you about the sign, or which way you should turn. If you have a little vision, pausing in front of a sign does help matters somewhat, as shown with this demo in the Terminal 5 bus station. Car rental buses, A, taxis, valet parking, bus stop 17 to 27, off airport car rental, off airport parking P, bus stops 28 to 31, bus stops 4 to 16, Bus stops 1 to 3. 18. You see information. Now that's quite clear. But without the ability to read the directional arrows, in this example, you couldn't tell which way to turn. And this is something I'd like to see included in a future update. To be clear, the glasses are making a good attempt at interpreting signs, but all signs vary in their design and complexity. In terms of the other features, there's definitely an advantage to using a wearable for tasks such as scanning text and making a video call to get assistance. However, it's important to bear in mind that, whilst Envision's Ally tool might be exclusive to the glasses, you can currently use free alternatives on a smartphone. Additionally, I've sometimes found that Envision's free smartphone app does a better job when scanning text in a much shorter time than the glasses. Finally, there's the price. At a starting price of £1,899 for the read edition, they don't come cheap. Our model, the home edition, starts at £1,999, and if you want to go all out with the professional edition, it will cost you £2,899. That's a lot to ask, especially when you consider that a smartphone is capable of doing many of the same tasks. However, Bear in mind that if you are planning on using these in an education setting or for your job, disabled students allowance or the access to work scheme may be able to help with the cost. So I'd like to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. Please do give the video a like and share your thoughts about the Envision glasses in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to extend my thanks to Envision who kindly lent us the Envision Glasses Home Edition for use in this video. 
we have included the links to Envision's pages in the video description. But for now, I've been Peter Hayton for Thomas Pocklington Trust, and I'd like to thank you very much again for watching this video.